Remember all the amazing things I told you about mycorrhizae in my last video? Well, two recent studies say the products we're buying are total duds. In nature, mycorrhizae form a symbiotic relationship with plant roots. Plants feed them sugar, and the fungi bring back nutrients the roots can't reach. So in theory, sprinkling a mycorrhizal powder into your root zone should work. But it doesn't. And here's the bad news. In this first study, the University of Kansas tested 23 commercial mycorrhizal inoculants. They found that over half of the commercial products tested produced zero root colonization. Some were contaminated with a plant pathogen called ulpidium. Label claims and spore counts were off by as much as 98%. And once they removed the effects of added fertilizer in the products, most products either did nothing or actually hurt plant growth. And the painful part? A few of the brands I trusted and spent a lot of money on were on the failure list. The next study is even worse. Published two weeks ago, this study tested 16 commercial mycorrhizal products sold in Europe. Nine for agricultural use, seven for home gardens, and seven laboratory-grade products for research purposes. Here's the bombshell. Zero, yes, zero, of the home garden products colonized roots. Only three out of 16 commercial products colonized plant roots, and only one improved plant growth because of actual mycorrhizae. The other growth boosts came from added fertilizer or added microbes, not the mycorrhizae. Manufacturers claimed hundreds or thousands of propagules per gram on their labels, but actual spore counts were tiny. Home garden products averaged 2.7 spores per gram, and some had none. Meanwhile, the research-grade inoculants told a completely different story. All but one successfully colonized roots, with most exceeding 40% colonization, meaning over 40% of the observed roots were filled with real functioning mycorrhizal fungi. We can all agree that mycorrhizae themselves are incredible, but the products sold to home gardeners? According to these two studies, you're probably just sprinkling dead powder on your plants. If you actually know a reliable way to get real living mycorrhizae into your soil without wasting money, please let me know.